Welcome back to more Lord of the Rings Online. In the last episode, we learned how winter befell Wildermore, and now we're going to tell the Reeve Garwig. The White Wizard has taken everything from us. I am so glad to see you in one piece, Kippen. Did you piece together the mystery of the relic? You tell Garwig everything Ioteth told you about the stone and the old man you, s you know to be Saruman. The giant carries a magic stone with him, and Saruman has something to do with it. So that is it. The ice emanates from Nurzum himself and goes where he goes. It's a sad thing to watch your lands die. So now we see what Saruman is about. An evil cursed stone bringing winter with it everywhere it goes. Nurzum brings it to and fro across the lands to destroy everything in his wake. Will you try to learn more about how Nurzum uses the stone Loy awarded? If you do that, I can send Cineberg to see how the northern city of Byrator has made out. Okay, so... That's gonna vector us to Byer Tor, which is gonna meet up with the epic storyline, so that's good. These are desperate times for the Rohirrim. No, Kippen, I cannot be distracted this time. I will search for Thrym, for our hope lies with him. You saw how Nurzum weakened for a moment at the blowing of the horn? You must go to Byer Tor yourself. I will search for Thrym. If I see anything of the stone you seek, I will send word to you. I brought the refugees here as you wished. Cinderberg refuses to go to Byer Tor. She wishes instead to go to the High Knoll. I waste no more time. I must find Thrym. Okay. So now I'm going to buy a tour. So I think I will do a swift travel to Garwig. Or not Garwig. Dunfast. And then from there I can ride. Oh no. <laughs> Good thing I saw this. I still have to tell Garwig before I go to Byer Tor. Dang it. What a waste of time. At least I saw it there and not all the way at the stables. Always read the quest text. Never assume. The White Wizard has taken everything from us. She ran away without a word to me. Foolish girl. When will she realize Thrym is gone? I beg you convince her to come back. I wish to speak with her. I am no stranger to grief and I know that she must face hers. She should try to help those who yet live. So, Cinnabur, I wonder where she is. Definitely not there. By the stables, it looks like. So let me get on my pony this time for real. Let's roll. These are desperate times for the Rohirrim. I'm sorry to worry Garwig, but I will not come back. I will not abandon Thrym while he needs our help. Garwig will thank me when I return Thrym to him, and together we shall drive away Nurzum. Cinnabur continues to swear that Thrym is alive and waiting for aid. Really? I gotta go back to Garwig again? That's a lot of back and forth. I'm gonna fast forward this. It is a sad thing to watch your lands die. She is gone then. So be it. I'm afraid you must carry the weight of Wildemore on your shoulders alone for now, Kippen. I am afraid we must put aside the search for answers on how Nurzum uses the stone. It is more important that we get word to buy a tour that they must evacuate. I will not suffer the deaths of more of my people. The White Wizard has taken everything from us. Our quest for more knowledge of the stone of Nurzum must wait. You must go to buy a tour in Cineberg's stead, for I worry the people there. Their city is a bit wild and the folk there are not friendly to strangers. They are savage even compared to us here. Be careful out there, Kippen. The High Knolls are dangerous, even in the best of times, and I cannot bear to lose you too. Okay. So, I have to... Do I have to actually follow the path to it, or can I just swift travel there? No, it wants me to go there, so I can definitely... 
Well, I guess it's not that much further, so I probably won't swift travel, but what I will do is I am going to reforge, but I will meet you at the city gates, and then we'll ride out towards Byer Tor. All right, I've reforged my legendaries, and we're ready to go. We are ready to go. Oh, did I take the wrong road out? That's all right, we're gonna go, we're gonna go all the way around. Shouldn't be a big deal. Gonna be that big of a deal. Let's see. Yeah, we'll have to go all the way around the lake. Ah, uh, I regret it. I should have just gone back and gone the other way. That's fine. We will be okay. It's a very large lake, though. Could just swim across. I don't know. Doesn't seem worth it. Is it worth it? No, it's not worth it. There's no way. You guys, remember this part in the beginning of the season with the shades over there? I remember. Who knows, maybe I'll run by a quest I missed along the way. Alright, we're making good progress. We're almost there. Unless... I can't... Across the pinnacle. That would suck. So I'm in the high knolls officially, but I need to get across to the other side. Perfect. Yeah, I'm not gonna go jumping off that cliff. Let me go the other way around still. I'll just follow the road for now. Let me go to the quest ring first. That way I can trigger that and then I'll head into buyer tour. You glimpse a Rohiric banner on the road ahead. The city of Byrtor is near. Okay. So now we can actually go into it. Byrtor tanners have been defiled by orcs. This does not bode well for the city. I reckon that is true. Okay. Orcs have planted their flags before the doors of Byrator homes as trophy of their thorough efforts at pillaging, but perhaps some people have survived. Tear down the enemy flags. Gotta destroy a bunch of these. Good. Just destroy all the ones I come across along the way. Some orcs here. Let me go ahead and just dismount. Keep it simple. Forces of Isengard have invaded Byrator, settling in as the new masters of this Rohirrim town. 
You should defeat the cruel new masters of Byratour to avenge the people of Wildermore who lost their homes. And I am one little flag short. I don't know if there's going to be any in here. I hope so. I'm almost inclined to go back and try to find one more flag. Because if it leads into another quest, I would hate to have to repeat things. Glywine sings as she was in comfort and in time of pain. Time of want. I wonder... Glywine? Where's Glywine? Must be up ahead somewhere. Alright, let me go destroy that last banner there. I don't think that counted for anything. I need to destroy banners in front of homes. This town belongs to Saruman now. Glaywan sings, but the winter came and with it Iron Tide. Many of the dead men from Byratora lie strewn about the town, unburied, defiled by the orcs, even in death. These men are not trophies of orcs, but brave villagers who fought to save their town. They should be given a proper respite in death. I wonder if we can go in these. Very snowy. This home has been thoroughly ravaged by orcs. Go search a couple of these other houses here. There's nothing alive left here, little worm. Little wine sings from each corner of the land, all would ride. To that city on the hill, strong buyer tour, fair buyer tour. Okay. Not much here. Not much here. There's a quest ring in there, though. God, that's driving me nuts. Did I miss something? No, I did not. This house is empty. I just had to go a little bit deeper in. Okay. That's why you always make sure, man. There's another house on this side. Or not really, but it's a corpse. That's not good. He's got a spear through him. That's brutal. It's like that scene in Return of the King with Gothmog. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, you nerds. Siege leader. Really? I'm silenced. Okay. Let me keep investigating. It's a fairly large town. For sure. Let's keep searching these homes here. This home has been destroyed. Nothing left, huh? What's upstairs? Nothing. Very good. This town belongs to Saruman now. You have defeated many of foes in Byratora to avenge the villagers who lost their homes and their lives.
Schön. Let me keep going deeper in. I really aggro somebody. That sucks. Alright, I'm going inside. I don't care about that orc. This home is empty and cold. Alright, and then... Where else? Over there somewhere. Is it the meat hall it wants me to go into? No, that's completely destroyed, but there is a corpse here. Okay. Let me look. Looks like the last house is that one right there. So I'm beginning to think that Nona probably is hiding out in the caves with the citizens of Byratour. This home has been wrecked by orcs and no survivors remain within. You have torn down the enemy flags planted at the doors of the destroyed homes in Byratour. Examine a frosty gust of air. Huh. And then I need to bury one more corpse. Let me go over here and see what I can find. Corpse. You have put many of the former inhabitants of Barator to rest. These brave men now lie in peace, safe from orcs. Good. And then a gusty wind, huh? Oh, right there. Can't really interact with it. That's weird. Why can't I interact with this? Huh. That's weird. What do I do with that? Let me... Let me bring this thing here. Well, let me build up an AoE. And then let me see if I can... Do that. No. Weird. Why can't I interact with these? I can with this one. Frosty guts of air have appeared in Byratora. Perhaps it is nothing to worry about, but it is good to notice these things. You suddenly realize that this sudden burst of frosty air might not be mere coincidence. You begin to shiver. You brace yourself for a rush of cold air that passes you. Cold air creeps in over Byratora. Sending shivers down the spines of all caught within. Okay. Alive, 1A. I thought the orcs cleaned this place out. I hope you're ready to die. The boys are right behind me. And behind them, well, you'll just have to hope that you survive long enough to meet him, eh? You should run away, little creature, if you value your hide. But I won't let you do such a thing. Two more Uruks appear to block the path. I don't know why they're not attacking. There we go. So there is Nurzum. Escape by tour by heading northwest. Nurzum has arrived. Run. Run the other way. Oh man, my dog is barking again. He's so crazy. Not in the middle of an instance, George. No. Uruk's approach. Nurzum in the distance. 
I'm just gonna keep going east. Enemies are behind you. I don't know if you guys can hear my dog barking, but I hope not. Can't stop to go check on him during an instance. He'll just have to wait. Run north. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention to the quest dialogue. The barking is distracting, man. It's distracting. I worry about it. Run north. I'll just run right by all these Uruks. They don't care. There's Nurzum just going to town. I have to be careful not to aggro him. I don't know if it's even possible, but I'm lost. I'm lost. You know that. You can see that. I was running east. I was running all the way east, and then it told me to run north. Uh, I don't know. And my dog's freaking out. I'm lost. What a disaster. Should I confront him? Uh, nope, I should not. No, I should not. Okay. Oh my god, my dog. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. It says north, but there's... I mean, this is blocked by Nurzum. How am I supposed to run through this? Maybe around him. Okay, yeah, simple enough. My bad. Okay, this is just where I was, and it's like, I can't run. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, there's the little light pillar. I see it. I see it. Jump off the cliff quickly. Alright. God, my dog is freaking out. You do not remember anymore. Okay, completed the instance. Okay, this episode is going to be a little short because my dog is just freaking out right now. I got to go check on him. So, sorry about that. I know I complained a lot about him during the last few minutes of this episode. But if you can hear him in the background, you can understand that. See you in the next episode.